Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and thank you for stopping by Claytor and Sun Gaming here on YouTube. Today, with the Pokemon standard format rotating, I've decided we're going to take a look at a pretty sweet Pisimian deck that I have been working on. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go through the deck list and then we're going to play a couple of games just to see how it plays out. I'll explain my thoughts on some of the cards, I'll explain my thoughts on the trainers and the energy, and then we'll play. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this deck. Alright, it's a little small picture. You will see the deck list in the, in the video description underneath all of this. But, we'll go ahead and start off with the Simeon. Oh, wrong one. This was Simeon. It has Fling and Team Play. Team Play, this attack does 30 more damage for each of your bench for Simeons. So, you have three of these guys out. That's 90. With Team Play, that's 100. And, as we saw in the previous one, this one has Power Hurdle. As long as it's on your bench, your Simeon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active evolution Pokemon. So, that's a potential 130. And that's not even counting in stuff like Choice Band, which will do an additional 30 to your opponent's active GX or EX. Well, GX, because we don't really have to worry about EX anymore. Or Cuckoo, which will do an additional 20. We also, in the theme of doing additional damage, we have Deonce with the Princess Abilities Cheer. With the Princess's Cheer ability, rather, as long as it's on your bench, your fighting Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage to the active Pokemon. Not bad. So, we've addressed the Simeon, we've addressed Deonce, let's talk about Mars Shadow real quick. Shadow Hunt, if it works the way that I think it does, you put two energy on and you can still team play. So you'll be counting uh, the Simeons on the bench as well. We've got Orin Guru with the Instructability, like being able to draw cards. Tapu Koku, Flying Flip. It's also got a really cheap, non existent retreat cost, which is pretty important now. We've got Shaman, has Flippity Flap, and Rally Back. Rally Back, it's not bad. If, uh,. Any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from your opponent's attack during the last turn. This attack does 90 more. So it's another 120 plus damage attack. Finally, our last Pokemon of the deck is Tapu Lele GX. Wonder Tag. You go get a supporter, put it in your hand, reveal it. And it has Energy Drive, which has the potential to do a lot of damage against decks like Wapaza GX or Metagross GX. As for our trainers, let's go ahead and start with our supporters first, because, well, supporters have weakened a lot with the rotation. We've got Cynthia, shuffle your hand, draw six cards. Probably the best card draw supporter in the, in, in the format right now. Gladion, you look at your face down prize cards and put one of them in your hands. Then you shuffle that Gladion into the remaining prize cards and put them back face down. Um, this is good for when you unfortunately um, prize a, a Pisimian. There's only one copy in the deck. We've got four Guzmas because we often want to switch um, bench Pokemon out and do the final, final bits of damage. We've got one Fan Club, which will let you search for two, two basics, put them in your hands. Uh, helps fill the bench with our Pisimians. Got three Professor Kukais. You draw two cards and it deals 20 more damage. Just a damage buff. Two Taden Lizas. You shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards, or you switch. Uh, you're active with the bench. Our tools are three choice fans. 
I mean, you want to do as much damage as possible to opposing GXs. Our stadium is three Brooklyn Hills. This again helps fill the bench with cards that you need, be it Deonces or Extra Presidians or our March Shadow. The rest of our trainers are four Acrobites, one Counter Catcher. Uh, when you're behind and need to knock something out real quick, Counter Catcher can do it. Three Energy Lottos. This again helps you find the energy you need. A couple of copies of Field Blower. Four Nest Balls. Three rescue stretchers to shuffle your Presidians back in. Or if you only got one and you're not relying on Watch Shadow, just put it back in your head and start refilling your bench. Three, uh, yeah, three Ultra Balls. Uh, and our energy for the deck is four Double Colorless because Team Play, of course, takes Double Colorless. And three Counter Energy. And if you have more prize cards remaining, um, if it's not attached to a GX, it provides actual two colors. Uh, so it's nice to have for something like Rock Hurl or Rally Bat if you're behind. And it does power up, of course, Flying Flip and Energy Drive. So that's the the thoughts behind the deck. I don't think I missed, I don't think I left anything out. Again, the deck list will be underneath this video. So let's go ahead and get a couple of games in. Where'd it go? There it is. And we'll see if, there's, if this deck has any legs. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. And we're just waiting on the Legend 24 to call the point. I lost the flip, which is fine. To be honest, in one game matches, I want to be on the draw anyways. Because it allows for the potential of, of like one turning kills to happen. Now that they've played a bench Pokemon, it's not as likely. In fact, it's unlikely. We're not super happy with the rest of our hand. We've got a Nest Ball to go get another Pacinian. We've got a Guzma in case we need to flip. Um, I'm looking at a Tapu Koku and a Tapu Lele for Psywave and Magical Slot. We're looking at 110s. We don't have any draw. Like, I would really like a Cynthia. Mysterious Treasures to play for my opponent. I could say Tapu Lele GX. What is Wonder Tag going to get? Lily. Lily might actually be worth an addition to this deck. They've added a shiny Luriga and an EK to the board. I don't think we're going to be getting a lot of evolution Pokemon going on in this game. So for Obsidian in the play, or this. 
Simeon into play. Now we could potentially knock something out, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double colorless a benched Pokemon. Acrobite. We'll get Lele here. Mike again. Good choice by those. Now we've got a decision to make. We can Lele for a supporter and refill our hand, or we can just go ahead and go on the offensive. And I don't really want this one to evolve into Alamar. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fight. We'll go ahead and put a choice band on this one. So we will team play deal seven. Our next turn, we will Lele for Cynthia, play Cynthia, and just hope for the best. Uh, that is incredible amounts of confidence coming out of me. Just hope for the best. Or maybe we could Guzma and get, a, get another knockout. I do believe we need to actually start filling our hand again, though. Maybe a copy of Copycat would be another inclusion to have. And my opponent can see that. Which is unfortunate. I would have really liked to see that game come out to its natural conclusion, but... It is what it is. Let's see if... Are they all Melamar? Yeah. It's kind of strong. Anyways. Let's go to another game. I think I got a... Got a guard aboard. Alright, now that all the bells and whistles are done. Fanny UK is calling the coin flip. I won the coin flip. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I don't wanna go first. I wanna try to cheese out a win. And this is not a hand I'm gonna cheese a big thing out with. Oof. This one's pretty rough. But we've got my shadow. We're just going to go ahead and just fill the bench. We'll make our table and things as good as possible. I can take one extra mulligan. They are on a psychic deck. Yes, I would love to draw a card. And the Lele was their only Pokemon. Marshadows, of course, weak to Psychic, so... I'm already super unimpressed with this hand. Yeah, 
Yeah, Lily may be worth looking into. And that's why we play games after we do our initial build. That way we can see other ideas and see what's worth having in the deck, you know? Mysterious Trainer, it's a Psychic or Dragon Pokemon. And it's going to be Don Wings ne which is very intimidating. Uh, our little Pacidians may not have much. And I guess we can go ahead and Ultra Ball. Or one of them. Oh, one of them is prized, which is super unfortunate. Or energy auto. Or counter energy. What are we going to play you on? How about we don't play any, any energy, just take these on? Acrobite. It's a Yuzma, Rusty Stretcher. We're going to take Cynthia. So, Rusty Stretcher. This is the same. We'll go ahead and play our counter energy on that same as well. I don't think I want to want to try out Sofa Pulse. I mean, I get it; it plays well with the discard pile. You're putting Psychic Energy in there to use with the suit. I, I'm assuming soon to be evolving Malamar. Blah. Alright, so we'll go ahead and field blow the altar away and do a Cynthia. Don't have any Pokemon in the yard. Gosh, I hate. Hey, using a double color was like that. I should have waited. Because now my guy is dead. All right, let's deal some damage. Seventy. This is gonna hurt.
Yeah, I am getting stomped in this game. That's okay. Missed our entry, and we will pass. Looks like a fairly good deck. I guess one of the negatives about having Marsh Shadow in the deck is it relies on the Simeon being in the yard, and that's really not where we want him to be. We don't want him to be in the discard pile. We want him to be on the bench or in play. <laughs> and Marsh Shadow really means that, that guy to be in the yard for us to take full advantage of it. Goodbye, Lunala. You're in the loss zone. Forever now. Take him 30. You got me. Alright, that's Professor. Done. Maybe Buzzwolves need to be in the deck over it or something like Shaman. Or the, or the two copies of uh, Foreign Guru. So even though we're getting housed right now, just giving these extra ideas as we go further into the, the testing process really helps out. Alright, Cynthia. Yes. I have nothing else in my hand to play. Let's go ahead and stretch her. I guess we can counter catch her or something. I'm sorry, I'm not taking damage. Let's see how much energy we went through. We got seven in the deck. Two, three. I'm going to nest ball just to see how many energy we've got left. <laughs> Invasion!
Anyways, I was just seeing how much, or what kind of damage I was looking at, and the only other Pokemon they've got in their discard pile is another Marshadow. Uh, but anyways, Nest Ball, check to see how much energy we've got in Gladion, to see if there's, you know, an energy that's unaccounted for. We came Gladion in out of the prizes, did it, slap it on Tapu Lele, and take a couple of prizes, maybe? Honestly, at this point, I think my opponent's just doing stuff to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, they did put a... the crows in the VR, so never mind that. Gotta go there. And go in for... I guess I could have worked with Hill instead of using the nest ball. Gladion. There's another energy. We'll take the Obsidian. I don't anticipate living another turn. But we're gonna damage. We did 90. So we would have dealt 120 that turn if we had the extra pinch space and all that great stuff. That is game. Alright, so we're weak to psychic, which is not a thing I should be surprised of. This. Alright, let's do the last game. So I have my two ninety nine is calling the phone. Lost. Broken up about the sands. Of dust main necrosmos, what I'm staring down at. Good show. So, Alia, Ultra Prism, or Prism Star, rather. I'm so far behind. Yeah, Lily, Lily should be in here. Just as another supporter that draws cards. Pretty fairly important.
hill. We have Prize the Pisidian. I mean, it's not going to be able to knock out, I believe. Yeah, we can just fire. Or whatever, let's get some damage on this guy. It's steel 40! Retreat cost is three. That's a heavy retreat cost. Thirty more for each year. Okay, so we got two. So that's sixty. Seventy is one hundred. So that's Guzma for this guy. Get top of the there. And up the hill. I'm not willing to play Mars Shadow just quite yet. I'll take the energy. Over the, or the guaranteed energy over the possibility of an energy. We got 90 there. That's going to turn on Geotech systems. Which is super unfortunate.
I've basically done everything I wanted to do this game, but the high amounts of hit points are going to make things difficult. Cynthia now. I mean, like, fine, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be great. Now we got ourselves a double powerless. I think we're better off trying to tie things up here. Too terrible of a position. So this is a great one. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty is a heckin' lot of energy. Or not energy, but hit points. I don't have another uh, booze mark. I really need a booze mark. This is not great. This is a good motto that I'm trying to find. We must. That is unfortunate. I was going to motto and try to find a double cuddle so I can retreat. I 
guess I could do melee for a Guzma. Bring out Marsh Shadow. Is there anything I can kill though? I think I can kill Belden. It doesn't seem very good though. Oh no, we've only got flying to flip in the yard, so. I don't think going for Guzma is our best play. I'm thinking. Alright, let's team play. Delta 120. Potion. He's gonna come in and kill that one. I do believe I'm gonna lose this game as well. But it doesn't matter if we lose this game. What matters is that we learn from it. Does 50 damage times the amount of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. So it would deal 100? Oh no, it would deal nothing because I don't have basic energy attached to it. And the two in my yard are right there. I guess we could field blow away the choice buttons. That'll show them. Rescue structure, but I don't have the energy. So I'm just going to go ahead and I not have the. Oh, it's because it's attached to a GX. Whoops. Well played, me. See, again, learning something. That's important. Like, make sure you pay attention to what's written on the card. I am gone. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all. Well, this deck has some has some work that needs to be done to it. And uh, that's okay. We can work on it. See if it's got any legs, see if it doesn't. We're not really doing anything other than just presenting decks, passing off ideas, seeing what's going on. Again, You'll be able to see the deck in the description. Make sure you click follow or subscribe or whatever it is on YouTube. I get I get them confused with Twitch. If you liked it, if you have any comments, make sure you let me know about them. And we will see you next time. For Clater and Sun Gaming, I'm Joshua. We'll see you then.